Welcome back. We're joined by a man who really needs no introduction around these parts. Head coach of Salt Lake men's basketball program, Coach Andy Sachs. Thank you so much Thank you, Trey. for being Appreciate here uh, with us this afternoon. Coach, we know you love to do in your spare time in the summertime. I know you got a lot going on, but you love to do these camps. Right. It just came out a couple or, or last week uh, that you were taking on a new task, the right. OC Co-Rec All-Star Basketball yeah. Camp in which you will be directing. Correct. Tell me a little bit about how that came about. Sure. This camp was actually started by Coach Lambert, you know, who I worked for back in the early 90s. And um, Steve Holmes took it over and, and ran the last 14 years. And uh, Hondo Handy, who's, you know, obviously a big Salisbury supporter and alum, uh, called me a couple weeks ago and asked me if I'd like to run it. I said, absolutely, it'd be a privilege to do that, you know, knowing that Coach Lambert started this camp years ago. And um, so I'm happy to direct two weeks of it. That's pretty awesome. And uh, you still obviously, uh, that, that camp will be divided into two sessions, Section A, June 18th through the 21st, and Section right. B, the 25th through the 28th, ages 7 through 17 at Northside Park Rec Complex in Ocean City. I got to say, that park and complex is my favorite place to yeah. be in Ocean City as far as sports venue. That's a pretty awesome place to be. Yeah, we, we, have, we have four full courts, so yes. uh, we have plenty of room in there. It's air conditioned. Um, I was there last week in that monsoon room we had on Monday so uh, <laughs> you know we're, we're looking forward to directing the camp uh, it's co-ed so it's for boys and girls uh, and again it's gonna be a lot of teaching a lot of my guys a lot of my staff's gonna work it uh, we've had a lot of success at our camps at Salisbury and to move it down to Ocean City for, uh, for a couple weeks will be great now obviously you're still running the Nike camps uh, the shooting camps uh, at Salisbury yep. understand they'll be in the last week of June right 22nd through the 24th will be our shooting camp it's basically 48 hours of a pretty intense offense uh, and then the 24th or the 27th will be our skills camp. Uh, and what you can do day or overnight for those. You know what I really was impressed by last year when I came out and did the package of it was the amount of kids that you had from different places, not just here locally, right. but those kids on that uh, on that video there were from Virginia yeah. and, they, and they were they were from yep. up north in Dover. Yeah. Kids came from all over right. to kind of get here and be a part of this, and I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, I mean the U.S. sports camps they kind of do all the the financial stuff and, and a lot of the email outs and stuff like that, so uh, they have a, a long reach of that. And uh, we've had kids from Morgantown. Virginia, all the way up from North Jersey, Massachusetts to come down yep. here. So, uh, again, I think when you've had success with your camps, we get a lot of great feedback on it. Our shooting camp doubled in size last year. Uh, our skills camp went up 10%. So that's kind of what you want in your camps. You want to go about 10 to 15% a year, and, and we expect another big year this year. Well, Coach, obviously I would not be an alum if I did not ask about the basketball side. Obviously sure. not the ending that you wanted no. to the season. Uh, but no. that's the same story for all but one team in the country. Exactly uh, right. How do we get better? As an alum, you know, I'm screaming, you know, come on. I want these guys to get better. Yeah. How do we get back to that NCAA Well, tournament? I mean, you know, Trey, we, we lost 85% of our yes. scoring from the year yes. before. Yes, don't stop. Um, you know, and we really, it took us a while to settle on a lineup. Uh, we were 5-4. and four. We, you know, we didn't play very well against Rowan at home. Uh, we come back after Christmas, I make a couple lineup changes, started Johnny Firestein, mm -hmm. started J.P. Kratulis, you know, Blair started getting a lot more minutes of point yep. guard, and we just took off, and we played really well. We, we had a couple bumps in a row, we blew a big lead against Mary Washington at home. Uh, you know, we were five for 43 against the uh, from the three against Wesley. Wesley yes, had I'm we won that yep. game, we're in a three-way tie for yep. first. Still went up in third, but you know, we finished 18-9 and nine with a very young team. Chad had a great year for yep. us. Not a good year, a great year. Just to not let us in points, but let us in rebounds, let us in steals, deflections. Uh, so we're going to have to replace him. But I got a, I got a pretty good group coming back. Yeah. And th they've all bought in. And uh, I'm very excited about next year. We have a very hard schedule. Uh, our tournament's going to be very hard. We have two NCAA teams coming in. We're going to Springfield College, who made the Final Four this wow. year, yep. who has you know, four starters back from a Final Four team, including an All-American, and two other NCAA tournament teams coming to their tournament. So we're going to have a tough schedule along with our conference. Well, Coach, I'm excited to see what you do and how we're able to get back to that, uh, to that next level uh, next year. But those camps, like we said, will be on June 18th through the 21st yep. and the 25th through the 28th at Northside Park Rec Complex in Ocean City. Coach, thank yep. you so much for appreciate joining me. me. Really thank appreciate you, so you. You know All you're right, one of my guys yeah, from, man. from day one. Uh, we'll be right back. Keep it here. Uh, we're keeping the basketball theme going. We're rolling out the All-State list in Maryland. Might have a few names that you might recognize. Stick around. My name is Jameer Felton of Indian River High School. You are watching Del Del Mar Sports Insiders.